In this class, we are going to discuss about mesh analysis by using matrix method. So previously, you did mesh analysis by the equation formula. But now, I am writing a matrix based upon the currents I1, I2 and I3. So first, if I want to write a matrix, so for the first loop, I will see what are the resistors are there. So this is 6 ohms and 5 ohms. The current is flowing through 6 ohms and 5 ohms. So I will add those two resistors and I will write 11. So for first and second, so what is common between first and second, I will write it as 5, but the currents are flowing in opposite directions. So I will take it as minus 5. So if you see for the first loop and the third loop, there is no common resistor. So I will take it as 0. So and for the second loop, if I want to see which is common for the second loop and first loop, that is minus 5. Since the current is flowing in opposite directions, I am taking minus 5. So if you take only second loop, then you have to add all these three resistors. 18 plus 4 plus 5. So that is 27. So if you want to take the common resistance between second loop and the third loop is 4. But the currents are in opposite directions. So you have to write minus 4. So now if you want to take the third loop and the first loop which is common, there is no common. So we will write it as 0. So if you want to take second loop and third loop, then you can write it as minus 4. So if you want to take for the third loop only, so then you have to add 4 and 4. So that is 8. So this matrix is completed. And if you, you want to multiply this matrix with respective currents I1, I2 and I3. So then you will get this is impedance or we can say it as Z, Z, this is I. So finally it is equals to V1, V2 and V3. So this is V. We can also write it as for the first loop the voltage is 50 and for the second loop and third loop the voltage is 0. So we can write it as like this. Suppose if you want to find out the Z input, Z input, so we can also call it as driving input impedance. So we can also call it as driving impedance. So if you want to find out a driving impedance, the simple formula is you have to select first row and first column. So you have to delete first row and first column. So first you write the entire the entire matrix 11 minus 5 0 minus 5 27 minus 4 0 minus 4 8. So divided by so you can write it as you have to delete the first row and first column then this is 27 minus 4 minus 4 and 8. So if you want to calculate this so you can write like this. So this is minus 1 of whole power first row and first column. So now what I do, now what I do is, so I will multiply 11 into 27 into 8. So 27 into 8 is 216 minus, so this into this, minus 4 into 4 that is 16 plus again I want to multiply 
this 5. So for the second row, we will get minus of this. So that only I am getting plus 5 into. So if I take in this way, so you will get only this and this. So minus 5 into 4, 8 is minus 40 and 0 into minus 4 is 0. So divided by, if you can calculate this value, 27 into 8 is 216 minus 16. So here this will become 1 because the addition is even. So now I am writing this as 11 into 200 minus 200. by 200. So this I can write it as this is 2200 minus 200 that is 2000 by 200. We can cancel this and we will get 10 ohms. So that is the input impedance. Now if I want to find out the transfer impedance I can write it as Z transfer that is Z 1 and 2 so that is delta Z by delta 1 2 so for this I can write it as 11 minus 5 0 minus 5 27 minus 4 0 minus 4 8 so for this how I can write is divided by so I can write minus 1 whole power here I am taking 1 and also the second one. So now first we have to cancel this and also we have to cancel this sorry we have to cancel this and we have to cancel this so now we can write it as minus 5 minus 4 0 8 so we know that this value is 2000 divided by so this will be minus 1 modulus of minus 40 plus 0 so if you take 2000 by 40 so this is 50 therefore z12 is equals to 50 ohms